Hello everybody and welcome back! My name is Ursa Ryan and I am so excited because look, you can see from the quality of this game, my new PC has arrived. That's why we've had a little bit of a gap between videos coming up. I have received this computer and I'll let you know now, this is the third time I have played the first 100 turns of this game. The third time I have recorded it. Because I mucked up the previous two. I've changed computer, I've changed recording software, and my god, when you have to get rid of bugs at the start of stuff, that is an understatement. This has been an absolute ride. But we're here, everything's working, I'm ready. Quick bit of housekeeping, this is the map, this is a huge earth map as provided by the Civ people, this is not a modded map, this is a map that everybody has, it's a really good one, and this is a game for me, a 20 civilization starts, 24 city state, huge earth with Byzantium, oh my goodness, I'm looking forward to this already, deity, standard speed, we've got secret societies mode on as well, I'm trying to keep only one mode on at once at the moment, just so I really appreciate that mode. I love a game where you put six or seven of them on and you've got secret societies and monopolies and heroes and zombies and apocalypse and everything on at once, but I quite like keeping it as true to the original game as possible and I find if you just put one mode on at a time, you really get a good sense of what that mode is trying to do. All of that is nonsense though because you should come to Discord, you'll find a few things there. You'll find the exact save file you can copy and paste onto your computer so you can play this exact map. I do the hard work for you, all you've got to do is copy and paste it into your save file. The other reason is I keep a huge mist of mods that I play with. I have a, one more actually, one decent mod. Uh, I, I, I have some really, really fantastic people on Discord that provide some brilliant user interface mods. I, I, I run a bunch, I have like 30 of them. Nothing changes the game, I want to point that out again. I don't play with any gameplay changing mods. I don't really like it, I like Civ as it is. This is a user interface mod. This actually lists all of the city-states and all of the quests they've got so I can see and plan them. Not that city-state quests are going to be really important for me this game because we are going to go mad. You'll see also I've got Owls of Minerva or I've, I've unlocked them already uh, because of Breslav which is here. But we're playing as Mr. Oregon, Mr. Paprika, it's Basil or Basil the second. Ah oh, the Byzantines are brilliant. Only they know how to pronounce this word. I have googled it and I would just muck it up. But what you need to know about Byzantium, they're super happy, they have a unique district that not only gives you extra immunities and is built quicker, but it also spits out heavy cavalry units that don't cost maintenance, which is nuts. Dromans are like the quadrimes on acid. They are ridiculously good with extended range and extended abilities to attack and kill units. Tagmas are one of the best unit units in the game. I didn't think I'd ever find anything better than Dromans. They started with not one, but two amazing unique units. The Tagma is incredible. Land units within one tile of a Tagma receive plus four combat strength. I mean, that's great. You stand two Tagmas next to each other and they have plus four, but equally, they have 50 combat strength, which is up from the knight, so 54 combat strength. Uh, I also get plus three combat strength for every holy city following my religion, including my own religion. This is a huge map, so there's seven holy cities, so that's a potential plus 21. Yep, Byzantium are brilliant on huge maps. They, I mean, look at him, he is ready to go and smug. Equally, plus one great profit point from cities with a holy site district. So I'm gonna get a religion super quickly as well. The, I mean, if that wasn't enough, heavy and light cavalry do full damage against cities uh, of the same religion as myself, ignoring walls, essentially, ignoring walls. So we have someone that's brilliant with religion, brilliant at domination, and is just a joy, an absolute joy. This is a true start location map, so here's Turkey, here's Europe, Europe, Asia, Gateway. Am I actually stood on the, yeah, literally, look, there is the boundary. We are the gateway to the world. We have no choice but to settle in place. Why would you? Why would you not? So as discussed, there are 20 people on this map. I like to play big games and my new computer, it eats new games up like they were breakfast. I'm so excited to get stuck in on this. It's going to be amazing, absolutely amazing. But the only problem with this start is I've played this a few times. We are totally surrounded. There is not a single space on any side of us, 360 that we can even settle on. I'm not joking, when you look at the settle lens, it is all red and it will be red everywhere. So, normally I would rush a starting settle up. I'm gonna be starting a, a, a rushing a, a religion because I am, I'm playing Byzantium, of course I need a religion. I need Crusade. 
This is going to be a super aggressive game. We are going to go absolutely nuts and kill everyone. I'm going to go for a scout start because I'm trying to get Owls of Minerva. Uh, Crusade games, combat games with the Void Singers works really, really well. I'd love to go Void Singers. That would be amazing. If not, I'll go for Sanguine Pact. I don't know. I'll, I'll see how it goes. Um, and we need to go and explore. Um, I'm going to get the scout out to try and meet as many people as I can to try and get some of the tribal huts. It's a huge map. It really is a huge map. So that is fine. I'm going to immediately put Pingala in. There's no point getting Magnus in because we can't get any settlers. Uh, I'm going to explore the little of the map that I can and we're going to immediately just run in. Look, there's Hattusa. Um, you can see just how cramped... Oh no, that's not even Hattusa. Well, I know it's Hattusa because Hattusa is in Turkey. But Jerusalem I've just met as well. I don't know about that. Um, that's fair enough. Rome! Oh my goodness, we have we have another Rome. We have another Rome. This is this is Rome on Rome combat. Who is the true Rome? Is it west or east? I'll let you know now. It's definitely east. Oh, and I've also met Venice here as well. I'll be honest, I do know what this map looks like a little bit because I have played it a few times. Georgia is terrifyingly close. I'll warn you that now. She's literally just here. There's Hattusa. Um, I can't go any further. Venice's troop stands there and it won't move. Um, it, it's the most annoying thing ever. So the first time I played this, I filmed for an, what, three and a half hours and I realized that the recording quality on my new software was recording at 360p. So that was, um, that was a shame and I had to really look at that immediately. Uh, and then I recorded it a second time and I got all the way to turn 130. 130. And I realized it wasn't recording my microphone. So that's why we're playing it again. I, you know, I try not to play maps uh, that I've already played before. Look at this. Flickin' Prez lad. Get out of my city. I know they, they are keen on wine. I'm playing with this camera mod, by the way. The camera mod is one of the best mods I've ever played with. Just because you can pull back to this point and see the entire map, which is brilliant. But also because you get to really, really have a look at some of these pleasant individuals that are stood just lurking by my wine. Get out. Oh, terrible. You better move. You had better move, Prezav. Come on. Up you go. North. 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 No. Nope. Alright, they're not moving. Ugh. The only problem is I didn't put the capital loyalty mod on. You'll see Rome is struggling a little bit. This city will be struggling as well. Tbilisi's capital. I think it's Tbilisi, isn't it? Um, that will all be struggling with loyalty. I don't think many, if any, cities do actually flip. They do recover eventually, but that is something that I did forget to put on. I kind of would have liked to have seen that, if possible, but never mind. These things happen. Vilnius there. You'll see what I mean about settling really quickly. There is literally nowhere that I can settle. I do not exaggerate on this. Even down here, even the med. You can see that is uh, Arabia in this game. I thought it was Egypt to start with, but no, Arabia are just settling down there, as you do. Petta, yeah. Russia, right next to me, um, which means that normally Russia get a religion, which is why I'm having to rush my religion out. I need Crusade. Normally the AI does not beeline Crusade, but I'm rushing it to try and get something like Feed the World. Feed the World is a domination person's dream. You might think work ethic is really good, and it is really good for domination, but the joy about Feed the World is that when you take over other people's um, holy sites, you don't have to worry about their location uh, of the sort of, you know, how much adjacency they've been getting. It just automatically gives you a holy site that gives that conquered city food. It's really, really good. There is Arabia as well. Babylon. Babylon has either a really good... The first time I played it, Babylon had a terrible game. Second time I played it, they had a brilliant game. So difficult to tell what's going to happen. This is the thing. I have, yeah, I obviously have recorded this twice. I am honest about that one. There's Sivia, Scythia. Um, but the game happened, you know, it really was different every time I played it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the game spits at me this time around. Russia have gone vampires again. That's really interesting. Oh, I love a Russian vampire. Amazing stuff. You can see, actually, look, already the mod is tricking, triggering in. You can see all the Eurekas that I need to get, uh, all the units I need to do, trade routes I need to put down. Preslav and Hattusa want trade routes. If I could do that, I could make friends with them. I'll warn you now, I don't think I'm going to be making friends with many people this game. Um, this is going to be an absolute reforming the empire. Byzantium smash game. Get survey on. I'll, war I'll, just, I'll just tell you now, there are no barbarians in Europe. There is nowhere for them to even sit, like appear. It's, it's hilarious. I'm also going to go maritime industries. 
The reason is that Cairo and Rome are both on the coast, and early game war-wise, people forget how strong the galley is. Look at it. 30 melee strength. Combine that with Taxus, gives it 33. Uh, I'll be able to smash through Rome's walls unless they put a significant defense up. So I'm going to go for maritime things. Now, one of the new things that I've realized with my new computer is that it's not rendering in hair on top of people's heads. I don't know why, but as somebody who has very little hair on top of my head, I kind of left it on because A, I find it hilarious. Look, you can see, um, <laughs> just hair on top is, is really thin. You've got to have a hat on this computer. If you've got a hat, you're absolutely fine. If you don't, <laughs> it's really weird. But it's somebody lacking a little bit of hair on top. I quite like seeing it, so I've sort of left it alone. You'll see that I'm rushing out slingers at the beginning of the game. There is a reason for this. Um, with Hungary just here and Georgia just here, they will charge me if I don't have at least some army. So it's well worth having at least some army. So we just unlocked astrology. I didn't get the boost. Um, there is a wonder here and here, but because of the way that the AI have got units all around their borders, you can't actually get to either of them, so I literally had to rush that through. Sailing is good. This slinger is magnificent, but I'm going to get the holy site down immediately, and we are going to be rushing it, hopefully, with some gold per turn coming in. The other trick I'm going to keep an eye out for is purchasing, not luxuries, but diplomatic favor. There is a hilarious thing with, I think, pre-turn 100 or pre the First World Congress, the computer doesn't value diplomatic favor at all, so you can buy it for like almost nothing. It's really funny. Oh my goodness. Come on, don't start rebelling now. You haven't done this before. Ugh, terrible. Come on. Gilgamesh. That means what you think it means. Gilgabro is my friend. Ah, oh, just the immediate, the immediate declaration. It makes any game worth it. You are a good friend and ally. He will remember this with his rippling muscles of friendship. The hug is complete. Now this is where I'm a little bit sneaky. I'm absolutely rushing towards India because I know there should be a bunch of tribal huts in India because India didn't spawn in this game. So it's a bit of space there. Right, there's the first one. Delightful. We're going to cross the river, see if we can get it. Yes, I will take your delegation. I need as much gold as I can. Double cotton. Double cotton in India. Very nice. Oh, no, no, no. Russia, I've got a scout here. This happened to me last time. They just ran after me and I was like, no. It is not no. The There's Mount Everest. I knew I'd find it eventually. There's the first tribal hut. We've got Nalanda, which I believe I got a envoy for. I do. Yeah, it's a little bit more science. Brilliant. Do you see what I mean about hungry? They just lurk their warriors down and they're like, hmm, could I take a bite? Yep, they've gone for me. They often do that. Now, normally this is actually a war that I can I can survive. Uh, if As long as I'm sensible with it. Hang on, the slinger goes there. Um, I'm going to just keep this formation for now. This is a pretty stable formation. They're just attacking my warrior. They shouldn't be able to get very far on this one. Uh, sailing. Okay, now galleys are going to be the next important thing for me. I'm also going to go for irrigation. Uh, the reason being is that I've got wine and citrus. That will make me happy. And at the moment, I really need to be happy. No one's got luxuries uh, to purchase at the moment, unfortunately. But I really need to be happy. Um, oh, there we go. Actually, look, my loyalty has gone up a little bit. With this population, that was enough to swing it, which is brilliant. Um, there are the Void Singers. Okay, that was exactly where they were last time as well. I don't know. Does Void Singers, does it load in specifically on tribal huts? Or is it random based on the tribal huts you go into? I, I don't know about that one because it, that's a few times that's happened to me now. Um, okay, let's go discipline. Nope, maritime industries. That's what I want to do. Wonderful. We've got the holy site going. That is great. You can see somebody is getting profit points. I think it might be... Oh, I don't know who it is, but it's uh, they're being annoying. Our holy site, that's great. Um, you can see here the monument is good, but the shrine for 280 is what I'm going to be saving up for at the moment. They've retreated there. I'm not going to go after Hungary at this point. I'm going to let them attack me. And purely because of the crowded start, I need happy city. So River Goddess, the two amenities and two housing in Constantinople, is going to help it to grow. Uh, and I've got my holy site on the thing there. I mean, I could get Divine Spark to try and rush through uh, a religion, but I'm, I'm happy just to rush it with holy site prayers. So I'm going to go for River Goddess. That'll make Constantinople super, super happy. Oh, actually, it won't. It'll make it plus two, which is which is not happy. But it's not sad, you know? So that's good. Oh, hungry it out. That means, I believe, yeah, look, they now have a free city there. 
Okay, so Hungary did actually lose. You can see Tbilisi and Rome have stabilised. There will be a couple of people that get knocked out of the game, but hopefully not too many. I'm going to send this one around the back um, and see if we can't fit through. But yeah, if we can take Buda, that would be quite nice actually for us. So I just boosted Archery with a Slinger kill on their Warrior. Nice stuff. That's that's good to see. You like to see that. Yeah, Buda's only got 10 strength, which is great. Venice has got a warrior here still, though. That is that is highly annoying. I really want them to get lost. Oh, come on. Don't. They're going to do this thing. That that unit will just be stood there. Oh, Valonia has moved their settler here. So they didn't actually get to settle. That is amazing. That means I might actually be able to pick up a free settler. I'll warn you now, it doesn't help me at all. It will not help me at all. I don't have any envoys with them, so... I'm just going to, actually I can't even declare war on them, I have to go through manually and do this. It's not going to help me at all because I can't settle with it, but it is a three settler. So, there we go. Not joking. Really not joking of the settling. I am so trapped here. Ah oh dear, once I've got um, uh, ship building, I think I'll be able to rush out and get it. Own two galleys. Dromen is what I need. Dromen is going to be so fantastic at taking over cities like Tbilisi, Cairo, Aleppo. It's going to be wonderful. Um, but for now, I'm just, as I said, I'm just trying to pull my settler back in that direction. Look, I've overtaken uh, the first religion with my holy site prayers. I might be able to rush it through. I don't think anyone's gone for a religion just yet, so this is fine. And now Russia have got a freaking unit in the way although hang on have venice moved it no venice have now got two units in buda that's so annoying oh oh wow gilgamesh has actually taken over sumeria i've never seen him do that no oh and um buda now has archers okay so we're not going to be able to take that city like i thought and unfortunately rebellion in two turns you can see rome have more loyalty on the city than i do which is really really annoying that's population five for you right there over population four. Never mind. That's okay. We're not we're not reliant on getting that city, so it's okay. Right. There's a natural wonder there, which is fantastic. Hopefully I'll find more tribal huts in this uninhabited part of Asia. We'll see. See how lucky we get on that one. Yep, as discussed, they actually got it. So Rome have Buda now, uh, and the Roman Empire gets strong, but that's okay because we will feed off the strength of the Roman Empire. Because we are the Roman Empire. Anything they have belongs to me. I could try and settle over in India actually with this settler. I might just do that. Can I just wander it through Hattusa? It's worth a try. I am a great person. There's the religion and I'm going to, if we just have a look at the religion quickly. Oh for goodness sake Russia is freaking standing on my holy site. They are just, I hate it before your borders close. Oh I need to, I need to close my borders so, so badly. Uh, let's get rid of holy site prayers. I'm just going to finish off this slinger and then we're going to get some galleys going we're gonna pick a nice purple color i think the one true rome that sounds good if this falls under you then you are part of my empire and you don't even know it yet feed the world right i'm just gonna pick up a shrine because that food in my capital will just help me get a little bit more pressure which is great and the most important thing is crusade right now now that i have this now that i have this we can we can get cracking um you can see i've actually got an archer in three turns what i might do is I might actually just before I get the shrine as you know I'm gonna get the shrine first we'll do that and then now we'll, we'll save up to get some archer upgrades but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go to war with the city-states uh, in order to kill their units and the reason we're gonna do that is because it spreads my religion don't forget any kill that I get uh, the Byzantium's religion is spread to the nearby cities when defeating a unit belonging to an enemy civilization or city-state I want Crusade to spread. No one else has a religion. This is the time to do it. This is absolutely the time to do it. We can we can start spreading everywhere right now. Oh, they actually lost. Okay, Babylon lost Cairo. That's good. This sort of fighting, infighting between the AI means that I can probably jump in here and uh, kill one or two of their units. Switching over to urban planning. We don't need to keep that uh, God King for any longer than we have to. Maritime Industries. I know I'm building an archer, but I'm just about to switch over to boats. It's, it'll be it'll be worth it, trust me. Trust me. Um, okay, now Vilnius. I don't believe I have any envoys of Vilnius. No, I don't. So I'm going to declare war on them. I'm not going to attack them in terms of the city-state. But as I say, I'm going to just take advantage of the opportunity they've given me of leaving their units out in the open. Um, and we're going to see if we can get some kills to spread my religion around. I have to buy open borders annoyingly. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. So, okay, Arabia have Babylon. 
God, it's a messy map down there. Really messy. Here we go. There hopefully is one kill. Now watch this. I get the kill and... Oh, no, it didn't get the kill. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, it's teasing me. It's absolutely teasing me. Never mind. Galley time. I need to go after Rome or Aleppo or Cairo or something. One of these needs to be taken out. Ah, luckily, they left themselves right where I need them. Let's try this again. We'll go bang. Okay, so I get free era score for converting Vilnius even though we're at war. But you can see, bang. St. Petersburg, Vilnius, Preslav, Rostov, Tbilisi, Buda, Hattusa are all now following my religion. Eight cities now have crusade on them. Yeah, it's a powerful strategy, this one. A very, very powerful strategy. You'll also see that Scythia are now selling diplomatic favor. They've got 12, but because they don't value it, because there's no World Congress at the moment, I can buy it for one gold. So that's now mine. And I can now go and see if anyone wants to buy it for more. Yes, my friend wants to buy it for three gold per turn. That is bartering. I love it. I absolutely love it. We should be able to get another kill here. Uh, oh no, I've got to cross the river with my warrior, but that's fine. Spreading the religion just a little bit more. Good stuff. Good city-states down here. These city-states I will be friends with because I'm nowhere near them. Look, India is three, China's three, it looks like Mongolia is three as well. No, Korea. No one's, no one's spawned here. Very empty Asia. Very full Europe, very empty Asia. I left it for the computer to randomly pick these, so this is its choice. As my first sailing boat. Get out, Mr. Settler! Oh my goodness, Babylon is absolutely a horrible place to be right now. A horrible place to be. All right, let's go for another galley. As I say, I want as many galleys as I can get away with as quickly as possible, really. Also now going to go to war with Preslav. I do have an envoy with Preslav. Um, but it's worth it. Don't forget, this spreading the religion is by far the best thing to do. And plus, I kind of want to incorporate the, all of Europe into my empire. City-states will not be safe as long as I'm around. What I'm going to quickly do is just go and see if I can find that really, really annoying warrior from Venice. Uh, in fact, actually, if I just keep going around this way, there it is there. I could kill it. If I can kill it, I can get my religion over to Rome. You can see Rome, it's, it's slowly spreading. But just naturally, it's going to take a few turns to get there. I'd love to get Rome on side, because if I can get Crusade on Rome, that would be amazing. Um, heavy chariots, 28 strength heavy chariots are really, really important for me. But I might go for shipbuilding as well. I'm just about to get um, Pingala upgraded, which is going to double my science per turn. I'm just about to boost this. Actually, yeah, Dromans, I think I'm going to I'm going to focus on. That would help me to take Rome and Aleppo and things. So we'll just get that quickly. Um, I need I need open borders, my friend, please. What what would it take? Two gold. Yeah, Gilgabro. He's got my back. You see, amazingly, Russia are not going for a profit. I have never seen that in a game before. I have never seen that. That is mad. And really annoying, actually. Really annoying. Um, the other... T I mean, Protestantism and Catholicism haven't been met, so I don't know who owns those. Um, we'll keep an eye out and see if that becomes clearer later on. Rome's pretty busy down here, actually pretty busy but as I say I'm gonna get my archer just to sort of pop down here and see if I can't uh, kill that warrior that would be a really really funny and brilliant thing to do if I could there is ship building boosted wonderful uh, one more galley yeah I just these things are so tough so so tough um, in fact actually hang on if I just move you to there you can see yeah I think it's only gonna I, I can put three galleys around Aleppo but it won't take many to get that kill. Granada is there as well. Lots of things for me to shoot. So if we can do this with Dennis, uh, declare war on them, that'd be quite nice. Feels It feels mean. It does feel mean. But if I can kill this warrior, that will give me such an advantage over Rome. Such an advantage. I'm just passing by Rome. I'll, I'll, I'll warn you guys, this is going to be a game where I lie to everyone. No one is going to be happy. Oh, Gilgabro. I, actually, I might I might see if I can keep Gilgabro for the entirety of the game. He's just he's just the best. He's just the best, and I love him. I love him utterly. Right, let me be back there. This archer's just going to wait a sec just for Venice to just move back into my threatened area. That would be very tasty for me. Uh, you can see they're still sending units, Preslav, which is very handy. And I've actually managed to get all the way to India now. So where shall I settle? There are silks, there are horses. Horses would be pretty useful for me, actually. T, I might settle just on this on this little bit of the river uh, there. It's kind of the, the 
gives me a load of space to, to grow one more envoy. I can get Void Singers, but until I have a monument, there's no point getting it through. Research it. I need to research all of my troops really quickly. I'm on 6.8. You can see once I shuffle that round, I'm now on 13.7. That's actually pretty good science, even when compared to the AI. So I'll take that. I will take that. Um, what am I going to do now? I think a builder would be probably handy seeing as I did go all the way to getting irrigation in and then I never did anything with it. So that's probably not a bad shout that. Get that kill. Lovely. And then get this kill. Perfect. My religion is really spreading around now. This is wonderful. Aleppo follows my religion. Oh, that's intriguing. I don't think I've got the loyalty to actually maintain that city, unfortunately, for just just yet. But we'll we'll see. Classical era, and more importantly, a golden age. Now, golden age is going to massively help my loyalty, except everyone else is loyal, um, and, and in golden age as well, which is really annoying. But never mind. Um, let's go for monumentality. I'm not going to spread my religion through apostles. No point with the Exodus of the Evangelists. Uh, just just no point at all. Um, monumentality is where I need to go. I've got six faith coming in per turn, being able to just insta-buy builders and things and traders and all of this stuff is really, really handy. In fact, actually, there's no point even getting that builder, really, is there? Um, yeah, never mind. Oh, Rome have a religion. They've gone for Sikhism. <gasps> oh, that's intriguing. That's really intriguing and very good for me. Very, very good for me because it means that once I kill that religion, I actually get my taxes ability from plus three to plus six. Oh, that actually works amazingly for me. They don't know how much that works for me. It's brilliant. Don't forget to sell your open borders as well. Look at this. Two gold selling it to Sumeria. One gold per turn from Russia. One gold per turn from Georgia, from Arabia, uh, from Slavia. They'll give me 20 up front. That's, that's the sort of deals I'm looking for. And look, 14 and seven. That's 21 diplomatic favor for just two gold. And if I go then to sell Diplomatic Favour, look, I can sell it now for six gold per turn. So that is a profit, if ever I've seen one. Lovely stuff. Let's get the trader in. That'll boost currency for me nicely. Perfect. I'm actually going to send this trade route to Rome. I'll get it back in a bit, but just making sure all of this has a nice road on it. Actually, it already has a nice road on it, but still, uh, very useful for me in the longer run. And there we go, my Indian city. It's here. New settlement new wonders oh it's gonna be good i even get a nice holy site here tasty gilgamesh how do you feel about a joint war with trajan uh oh yes there we go this is why this is why gilgamesh is my friend right he's just oh he's just a beaming ball of sunshine and i love him i love him utterly right now this is an opportunity for me to actually stick a couple of units into crusade territory in rome um, and just see if I can't shoot something. My my um, trader is now popped back in, which is good. I can now get some luxuries into my capital, which is good as well. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna look effectively. I'm just going to look and see if they have like boats or galleys or something that I can use to knock the religion out of Rome. Portugal. Woohoo! Okay, I should have actually met them. That would have been a clever thing to do. Never mind. I'm gonna just wait for a second, Georgia. Okay, yeah, this is good. This is fine. This is fine. Right. Um, okay, so they have quite a few units, but what I'm going to do is now this, is, is this sort of worked, really. Um, I can kind of draw them back in now a little bit. Come come to me, and then I'll shoot you and see if I can spread my religion that way. They have a galley, but they're not taking the bait, actually. They're not leaving their ships from the, from the yard, so that's going to be a bit annoying. Never mind. Never mind. Um, okay, I've got 344 gold all of a sudden. That's wonderful. Let's get the monument in and let's just quickly get Void Singers in. That gives me extra culture, but also four faith per turn. That's lovely. Another uh, route that would be useful, actually. Uh, I can get six gold from to Cairo. Oh, look, they have a religion, Islam. Okay, so there's two religions right next to me. That's wonderful. That's really, really handy, actually. Uh, six gold per turn. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. We'll do that. As I say, we'll get that trader back once I... Uh, once I do that, uh, let's just quickly get this immunity in as well. Two immunity. Oh, God, no. Constantinople is just so desperately unhappy all the time. Come on, sort yourself out. Uh, Portugal will buy it for 11 gold per turn. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. That's awesome. Um, okay, so I've got loads of gold coming in per turn. Now I've got all of this, I'm going to go for wheel. Um, this will give me heavy chariots, and heavy chariots are heavy cavalry. 
Those things are tough. Actually, do I do that or do I go for horseback? Let's go for horseback riding, actually, because I'm about to get a pasture. Oh, that'll be fun. Yep, it worked. It worked. They moved their unit right to the border, um, which is bad in the sense that my unit's almost dead, but good in the sense that there we go. I just managed to squeeze a little bit of pressure from my religion onto Rome. I only need to do a few of those now. Oh, actually, did you see that? Did you see that on the pressure? Protestantism. So Protestantism, I don't know where it is, but it's in Europe. That's good. That means we've got at least three religions within walking distance. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Right. Now we are on to Dromans. These are just the best units. They are fantastic. Let's get the horses in as well. Um, I'm actually, there are opportunities for me to get horses in on this city as well. Horses are going to be very, very important. So we're going to do that. Lovely stuff. This is going to be a great city, actually. it has got walls. We don't, we, we literally couldn't care less about that. Walls will not stop us. One thing I could do to get rid of the influence from uh, Islam is actually to start spreading my religion by killing Hattusa's units. It's not a bad idea, actually. You move to there uh, and you move to here. I've got Dromans are not going to be... Uh, I, I know I'm at war with everyone. I get that. That's um, it's obviously not ideal, but I can. I think I can put up with it. There's cotton. Actually, that's my third luxury. Come on, Constantinople must be happy. Yay, it's happy now. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, Roma have walls and they're attacking my galley. Okay. That's fine. Walls, as I say, I don't mind walls. Walls, we can we can live with walls too. So I do have one envoy with them, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'd rather start killing their units. Everyone's denounced me now. That's fine. That's fine. We've got 63 gold coming in per turn, which is more than enough. And here is my first Droman. Now, these things are absolutely mad. They are so powerful. And this is what I'm going to do to actually get rid of Rome's religion. Uh, I'm going to build a second. In fact, all my all I'm going to do is build these things. They're, they're wonderful. Um, I'm just using some gold in the meantime just to get Constantinople's infrastructure mighty tasty. Oh, Georgia just levied Hattusa's units. Oh, that's annoying. Um, okay, I can't kill them now. Oh, that that is probably the most annoying thing they could have done, actually. Uh, luckily, I can kill Venice's unit here. Um, so... Okay, there's still stuff for me to kill. That's 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 what's important. I'm going to go for classical republic. Um, autocracy, oligarchy, both of those are useful, but I would rather have the immunities right now. Let's go for maritime industry. Urban planning is wonderful, and... Oh, okay, I don't really have many other things that are going to give me very good things. I'll go, uh, Ilkum, maybe? And we'll go for diplomatic league. That'll do nicely. Uh, yeah, very weird, weird set of things for me there. The Droman comes round. Um, you can see Rome has a unit there which I could use to kill, but this one, bang, Aleppo and Granada have just uh, flipped over, and Rome should have uh, one more, uh, you know, I think I probably need about four or five unit kills to take Rome over. I'm just going to go for a formal war with Georgia as well. I, I'm at war with everybody. At war with everybody. Do you want to come and join in on this one? Mm, yeah, no, no, they really don't. That's fine. Uh, again, these units are just so near to Cairo. This is, it's just worth it. I tell you, it's worth it. I just need to focus on killing units. Second, Droman, just in time. Just in time, actually, to get that hit in. Uh, I think I can get that kill. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, look at that. Cairo just got hit with religion. And again, oh, look, Islam's gone. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? That is an absolute shame. How did that happen? And so we've got heavy chariots and we've now got um, uh, horsemen. So both of these are, are amazing things for me, actually. I might just get another Droman. How much is a horse? 320. Oh, that's a good thing that people are paying me tons and tons of money, isn't it? Here's a horseman. Now, don't forget, as long as Crusaders on the city, horsemen can just, they can just kill uh, walls immediately. So... Yeah, these things are strong. Oh, Rome want peace? No, no. You, they know what's happening now. They, they, they can understand that they have been, they've been tricked here. <laughs> but no, not going to help. Not going to help you. Yep. Uh, this is going to be reasonably effective. Look at that. My horseman actually does most of the wall damage in that city. That is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Um, Gilgamesh is still selling me their favor. I can still sell it for oh, hardly anything. Okay, never mind, never mind. That's that's okay. Oh, they're attacking, attacking. All they did actually was just attack my units there a little bit. I don't understand. Um, didn't work super well for them. Um, I just need one more kill on 
something near Cairo. That would be, that would be fun. Because uh, their religion has just kind of come back a little bit, but my, I've still got huge pressure on them. So that's good. Bring the Droman in. Oh, look. Lovely stuff. I can actually attack the scouts and do it that way. Oh, that's, um, that's quite handy. I killed a... Oh, this scout actually unlocked the Sanguine Pact for me. Uh, maybe it would have been fun to go Sanguine Pact, but I think old gods are... Your Void Singers are... Oh, they're just so good. They're really, really good. Oh, did you see that? They just threw a unit at me, k killed itself, and all that did was spread my religion further. It's now 4-3 split on my religion there. I mean, honestly, that was a silly, silly move. Let's, um, actually, I'm just going to move that Droman back so I can upgrade itself, and this scout can die. Bam. Another load of religion. Uh, horsemen, just heal yourself briefly, and then, yeah, let's just start taking these walls down. They're giving me four gold per turn for peace now. They know what's going on. Oh, Georgia have actually brought an army to the party. That is brilliant. Bronze Thank you so mysticism. much for that. That's that's awesome, because now I've got more boat attacks. Haha. <laughs> Oh, you, you fools. Let's move this horseman there and then do an attack, which should... Yep, yeah, that takes the walls off. Buda is now surrounded uh, with Crusade. Okay, this is not a bad not a bad situation we have found ourselves in. Another scout kill. Oh, Rome has lost its religion. It's not long until I flip it. Archer moved there. Droman, you've got some targets that you can hit like that and then like this which oh doesn't quite do it doesn't quite do it um that galley can get shot once uh i could then go attack oh it's, it's so close we are so close um is it worth just holding fire a second until reinforcements come probably look you can see georgia are trying their best to, to kill my units in this way there we go there we go cairo and rome oh my goodness in the same flip in the same flip right so my taxis is now worth plus nine. Oh my goodness, that is the most amazing thing. Oh yes, thank you, thank you so much. Well, I am. Um, I think officially our, our problems are over. If we even had problems in the first place, that that is a that is a remarkable flip. Yeah, look, they're just they're now just attacking my units for the sake of it, which is just making this I'll speed up effectively. Um, I'm just trying to work out the quickest way doing this. Buda is still. Uh, flanked, so just, just take a turn just to heal myself quickly. Let's get... Okay, now that I've... Yeah, I might as well just pull my units right into Rome. Um, and we'll focus now. Get that kill. Get you to attack. Come in and attack Rome. Actually, I need to upgrade my units. That's something I really should have done. In come the galleys. I might as well bring them all in to see what can be done. This should give me Buda, actually. Nice. I've met Brussels. Okay, this is wonderful. I'm actually just going to treat myself, I think. If I just go to here, give myself... Um, I'm going to treat myself to another horseman. These things are just are, are really, really tough. Really, really tough. I'm actually going to flip from Droman production to cavalry production in a second as well. Um, but this this may not seem much, taking Buda. But this probably is the start of the end for everybody. Like, I now have pretty much free reign to conquer the world. If they were going to stop me, it would have been before this point. I, I think I now I've won the game. <laughs> I can confidently say that. Sounds ridiculous, but I'm pretty confident that I have now won the game. Um, let's actually give ourselves bombardment. And bombardment just reminds me of The Simpsons every time I see that. Bombardment! Um, okay, good. Oh, no. Oh, that was a silly mistake. I've just put my warrior. Uh, that warrior will, will steal it. I was just thinking just moving the settler down into Africa just to see if I could do another colony. My Indian colony. I mean, the Indian colony is fantastic. It's got me two luxuries, which is awesome, and some horses, which is which is the best bit actually. The horses. All right, sell the diplomatic favor. It is worth nothing to me at the moment, um, and I'm losing six of it per turn. You know what? I would rather it rot. <laughs> I would rather it rot. Oh dear. I'm I'm that I'm just I'm just a horrible person, really. I can get Nalanda on side, which is the improvement that gives you a free tech. Now that is awesome. What am I doing, by the way? I've, I've had one city. Um, 13 techs, 13, 14. I'm very much in the pack at the moment. Russia are doing terribly. Terribly. Um, apparently, though, Portugal are winning a domination victory. How so? Uh, one capital, one capital, one capital. Uh, loads of people have got one capital. Oh, my goodness. 
God, you see, look, it's an angry European war. This is European history in a Let nutshell, me this. Me. There's the Matterhorn. I knew there was a freaking wonder somewhere. Yeah, lost the settler. That is really annoying. I should probably go and get that, but I just, just, ugh. Anyway, it's annoying, but we'll ignore it. Uh, one Dreamin attack. These now attack with 51 strength because of the 9 from Taxus, 7 from Barbarman, and 10 from Crusade. It's quite the potent combo, especially when a horseman then comes running in and takes the wall straight off Rome in one hit. Um, it's it's pretty effective. Super effective, you could say. Uh, in fact, actually, oh, I can't quite kill Rome this turn, but it's close. Oh, apparently Vilnius have decided they want peace with me because they were levied by Rome. No, I don't think you're off the hook that easy, my friends. Oh, Rome have decided to just gift the settler back to me. That's very kind of them. They knew it was inevitable. They knew that I would be doing pretty good things with them. In fact, actually, Mr. Horseman's going to take that settler. Alpine training, of course, it's the Matterhorn. Of course. That's Rome taken, which means that, yeah, we we are now the one true Rome. The Roman Empire. Oh, my goodness. The loads and loads of boosts. The Roman Empire is beginning. We now own pretty much all of Italy, Hungary, and Greece and the edge of Turkey and Bulgaria and all these sort of areas that are very difficult to work out on this map because the accuracy is not it's not quite spot on but it's close enough um it's close enough this German actually can go start firing on Tbilisi you know what yeah sure I'm gonna treat myself to Tbilisi I I think I, I think I deserve it let's just go do that a horseman can now run in and go kuchonk and the walls are almost gone immediately. Oh, and Gilgabro is going to give me just loads of gold for some wine. He loves wine. He wants to share a glass of wine with me, and that is totally fine. I, I appreciate that he wants to do that, Emberon. Let's just heal my galleys up just quickly. Um, these Dromans, however, can get immediately down to this suspicious frontier with uh, Arabia, which I definitely am not going to take advantage of. Oh, they think they've killed my horsemen. Oh, it's a shame that I can pillage and then give myself a promotion and now I'm immediately back on full half. It's just funny how these things go sometimes. <laughs> Bam. Okay, Tbilisi's walls are down. Let's start killing their units to stop them from being annoying. Saladin, form a war. It's a shame. I think I just lost one gold per turn with them for doing that, but I think I can live with it. Uh, Aleppo, don't forget, has crusades, so that when my Dromans come in, my Dromans come in. They, they are they are ready, ready to play. I actually now have a Droman in India that's just killing some barbs, but this is great. I can actually use this thing to explore either Africa or down into Asia. I think I might go Asia and see if I can find America in a second as well. That would be nice. Jerusalem, I'm at war with them. This is where Era score becomes crazy because every time Byzantium flips a city whilst I'm at war, I get a huge Era score boost. There's Aleppo. That took two turns to take that city. Um, that's, that's pretty decent. And don't forget, all of these cities have old god uh, obelisks, which is giving me tons and tons of faith. And in a second, well, when I upgrade next, Chorus will turn that faith into gold, science, and culture. Gold to upgrade my units, science to research them, and culture to give me the best civics possible. This is going to be wonderful. I love it already. I love uh, this map is just a joy. If you want to, you've never played along with one of my maps before. I would really, really recommend you give this one a go. It is just a joy, an absolute joy. I mean, just, it shouldn't be this easy to kill Tbilisi. It shouldn't, but Byzantium are so strong. There's the encampment. I was worried I was gonna have to kill that encampment, but no, no, I just I just walk straight through it. Ah, oh, ah, yes. <laughs> Oh, dear. I think Portugal I'm going to leave alone for a second. My attention is going towards Arabia and Georgia right now. Uh, and Vilnius and Preslav I'm still at war with, technically. So let's not forget about them. And a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Davalex, The Broccoli, and Midnight Oil for all of your support on Patreon, as well as everybody else who likes, subscribes, and follows. Thank you very much.